If you were to see a skull x-ray like this in which there were multiple punched out lytic lesions in an elderly person, perhaps with no known primary carcinoma, almost any radiologist would tell you instantly this is multiple uh, myeloma. Technically, myeloma means a tumor of a bone marrow, and that's exactly what it is. Here's another x-ray view of some vertebral bones in which you could see there's destruction of the bone and replacement by this whitish type of tissue. And even in the adjacent uh, vertebrae, you could see that there's a lysis as well, which corresponds to these uh, whiter areas. If you look at the gross specimen of multiple myeloma, you will see that the marrow is also replaced by mo a more whitish looking tissue. Here's a long bone and here's a vertebrae in which you can see there's lysis or overgrowth of this. This is relatively normal marrow here and this is relatively normal marrow here, but there are areas that look like they're actually lymphoid uh, consistency, don't they? In addition, If you look closely, you could see areas within the marrow in which the spicules are replaced by more of a soft tissue, like you can see here and like you can see here. And here is that skull that we saw. And if you were to look at this inner table of the skull, you could see that there are these punched out lesions. You could also see them within the diplo, yeah, D-I-P-L-O-E, in which you could see there's probably lysis here and here as well. Let's take a look at the uh, slide of this case of the bone marrow. Now, normally in hematopoietic marrow, you should have about half fat and half hematopoietic cells. In an older person, uh, it's less than half, so perhaps 30% might be acceptable. But notice in uh, this area here that at least the cells sort of look like they're all different from each other. It's a heterogeneous population of cells. They don't all look the same. Now, if you did a careful count, you might see... Uh, increases in certain numbers. Also that there is a good intersperse between fat and marrow. As you go towards one of those lytic areas, however, uh, which we are now, uh, and you were to pull out the textbook of a what a plasma cell should look like, you could see that about 90% of these cells are plasma cells. There's about three or four classic features to a plasma cell. They have a round nucleus, sort of peripherally located. They happen to have a uh, what they call cartwheel or spoke wheel, a distribution of chromatin, and there's usually a prominent Hoff or clear area in the wider part of the cytoplasm representing uh, the Golgi apparatus which is stuffed with immunoglobulin. And I wish we could go higher on this power. Uh, I'll try to find one for you that has all those classical features, although they really all do. I just want to find an area that's not so crowded where I could hopefully show those features. Uh, look at this cell here. Notice how the chromatin is sort of at the periphery of the nucleus. Uh, look at this cell here. Notice how there is a prominent lip of cytoplasm to the side. And if you were to have the benefit of either a better stain or a higher power, which we don't have here, uh, I can reassure you these are all uh, plasma cells. Here is a normal uh, bone marrow on the bottom. And notice that in this uh, bone marrow, it, once again, it's about a 50-50 ratio between hematopoietic cells and fat. But no matter where you go in this bone marrow, you will see that the cells are all different. 
there's probably more white cell precursors than reds. You see occasional megakaryocytes like you see here and here. This is a heterogeneous population of cells. In contrast, in many uh, marrow proliferative diseases, including uh, multiple myeloma, all the cells look like each other because they all are the same type of cell. This is a monoclonal proliferation of plasma cells. Look, there's a classical plasma cell. Um, can we find another one? Maybe that. There's a classical plasma cell. And uh, the thing about multiple myeloma is even though it's a destructive malignancy producing monoclonal immunoglobulin or immunoglobulin fragments, uh, the cells themselves may look, in most cases, like totally normal plasma cells, in most cases. In some more advanced or worse differentiated myelomas, the plasma cells don't look like plasma cells at all, but usually they look like normal classical plasma cells. Thank you very much.